today I'm gonna be showing you guys five different ways on how to lace the classic Adidas Stan Smith. So the first style is gonna be the dead stock style. When you pull the shoe fresh out the box in sneakerhead terms, dead stock means brand new, fresh out the box type thing. Everybody has their own little definitions, but at the end of the day, this is what the shoe looks like when it's brand new. So as you can see right here, if you pull the laces up from behind the tongue, you have the dead stock knot. Now you can do one of two things. You can just take the knot and just pull that back behind the tongue like this and then wear it and it'll kind of sit right above your foot or you can unlace it and have it a little bit looser, but that gives you that really clean look. You don't have the laces sticking out, anything like that. A lot of people like that when it comes to a more sleek shoe like this on the Stan Smith. So let's go ahead and check out the Onfoot and then we'll get into some more style. After seeing what that looks like, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Now let's take it to style number two, and that is going to be the bow tie. So simply what you're gonna need to do on this one is untie the dead stock knot, and you have two different options here. You can either tie a bow tie here and just run it like this, but you're gonna need to loosen up the shoe just a little bit so you can let your foot breathe. So tie the knot and then loosen the shoe a little bit. That way you got a little bit of leeway right there. And then from there, you have the bow tie look right here on the shoe. Now for me, I like to wear like this a little bit more loose, but some people like to put it a little bit more together and actually lace it all the way to the top and then put the bow tie. So what we're gonna do is take the right side here, run it through the left, and then we're gonna take the left side and run it to the right right here. Now, if you see on the laces, you can see that this side on the left side goes over the right side every single time. So you wanna keep that when you get to the top and you don't wanna lose that unison because it starts to make the laces look a little weird. Now from here, you're gonna tighten it up just a little bit, pull a little bit on the laces, and then now you have enough slack to be able to run another bow tie. And then from here, you're good to go. So this is gonna be your second look, a little bit more put together. And I'll show you guys what this looks like on foot as well. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. After seeing that style, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Is that something that suits you a little bit more? Now for me, I like to wear my laces super loose. So what I'm gonna do is actually unlace it and I'm gonna pull it out and kind of have a little bit of slack right here. Make the lace tip kind of run a little bit down to the midsole. You don't want it to be dragging on the floor or anything. And then from here, we're gonna loosen up the rest of the shoe. So just gonna pull like this, three fingers. And you see how the laces evenly distribute as we do that and we got a little bit of slack here. Now, this is more of the loose style, more relaxed, different environments cause for different type of lacing. If you're gonna be chilling on the beach or something like that, you might have them laced up like this. But if you're walking into a meeting, you might wanna lace them up a little bit. You know, you got a little bit skinnier of a denim on or whatever it may be. It all kind of varies depending on the outfit as well. But for me, I think this is one of my most go-to styles when it comes to a lot of sneakers. So let's go ahead and check out the on foot and then we'll see what you guys think. After seeing that look, is this something that fits you a little bit more? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now for the next one, we're gonna need to unlace the entire shoe and we're gonna go inside out on this one simply because this is how the shoe normally comes, but a lot of people like to unlace the entire shoe and then relace it back up in a similar style, but with that outside in look. And to me, it's a little bit of work, but it is a really great look. So we've unlaced it, we have the bar in front of the front. Ooh, I can't wait to get into the bars later. So we're gonna take the outside right here and we're gonna come inside like this. You see how I'm pulling it through and I'm keeping it flat as I pull it through? We wanna do that throughout the entire shoe. So same thing here, run the lace, make sure it's flat. It's just gonna give you a way better look. No matter if you go with that same style, but keeping the laces flat, I don't know if it's a sneakerhead thing or what, but I'm sure a lot of my sneakerheads in the comment section could tell you. That is like a very important thing. You gotta keep the laces on point. Like see this right here? You see how it's like turned up like that and it's crossed? We don't want that, we wanna flatten it. So you wanna turn it over and have everything flat. It looks a lot more, you know, put together in unison. So we're getting close to the top now. Let me show you guys real quick. So you got a couple options here when you get to the top. You can run a bow tie like this and it'll come from the outside in. It'll look like this, we'll loosen it up a little bit. This is what the shoe will look like. I'll show you guys the on foot or you can go with that same type of vibe and you can run it here to the outside like this 
and have that loose vibe, but just with the outside in fit. So it's gonna be like this, and then we're gonna loosen it up. And then we're gonna have that same type of look. I'll show you guys both looks on foot as well. This is kind of more my style, but again, to each his own. That's why I'm here to show you guys all the options. All right, after seeing that style, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like it loose or do you like it with the bow tie with the outside in? I personally prefer kind of both in different situations. So for me, honestly, I'm not mad at either one. Now let's get into one of my favorites, the bars. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure the laces are evenly dispersed throughout the both sides and start with the bar right here going from the outside in. Now, you're gonna skip a hole each time you go up. It's gonna be opposite. So we're gonna go odds and evens or whatever you may say. So this is the second hole. We're gonna go in here and pull through, and then we're gonna go directly across to the second hole here, just like this. And I'm gonna go up to the fourth hole behind it, boom, and pull through directly across. You guys kind of see the pattern right there, right? So now what we're gonna do for this one, since this is in the first hole, we're gonna go to the third hole, pull through, and go directly across to the third hole. And then we're gonna have to go underneath that, pull through, you guys getting the trend here, right? So we're going from the third hole. What's that mean? We're gonna go to the fifth hole up here. And we're gonna go across to the fifth hole. Everything's just kind of matching, going across. Again, remember we wanna keep the laces flat. Now from the fifth hole to the seventh hole, we'll pull that one out. Fourth hole to the sixth hole, just like that. Straight across, just like that. Boom. Now we're gonna tuck this lace here. And then the one that was in the seventh hole, we're gonna come directly across to the seventh hole here. And then we're gonna tuck those laces inside. And this is the bars. This is a very classic look. We don't see people rock this too often anymore. And I think it's really, really clean. Again, I can't wait to show you guys the on foot. So let's go ahead and get into it. So that's gonna do it guys. That's five different options with a couple different twists. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if any of these are suitable for you. Again, you know I like that loose style, but there's definitely a couple key clean looks when it comes to a sleek shoe like this. If you guys enjoyed this and wanna learn more, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all in another video and I have a full playlist dedicated to lacing tutorials for a bunch of different sneaker models. So if you wanna watch that, check that out after this video. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. I would never let you down and send my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA <laughs>